1955 S. Roosevelt Dime. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, this vivid multicolored beauty really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Both sides are layered in blended pink, apricot, emerald green, rose gray and cobalt blue toning that provides absolutely outstanding eye appeal. Exceptionally well preserved for the issue. It was sold for $1,645. Number 7. Undated Franklin Half Dollar Struck on a Dime Planchet. Graded in Mint State 62 by NGC. We have only handled a few Franklin Half Struck on Dime Planchets, mostly in low-end Mint State grades. The coins were likely plucked from rolls immediately upon discovery. This MS-62 coin shows minor abrasions but is mainly characterized by satiny ivory white luster. Franklin's head is largely on the planchet with Erty in the upper margin. On the reverse, the lower portion of the bell is present, along with F$ dollar in the lower margin. It was sold for $4,800. Number 6. 1955 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus Red by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, a sharp, carbon-free superb gem with exceptional surface preservation and satiny copper red mint luster. The 1955 Lincoln Cent is scarce in this lofty grade, and CAC endorsed pieces are rare. It was sold for $38,400. Number 5. 1953 S. Jefferson Nickel. Graded in Mint State 66 Full Steps by PCGS. A true strike and condition rarity in a Jefferson Nickel, this 1953 S. was one of our consigners' final acquisitions for his outstanding set. It is a satiny, silky smooth premium gem dusted with iridescent champagne gold toning. The detail is truly impressive with sharp to full design elements both at the borders and in the centers. The 1953S is even more challenging to collect in the finest grades than the 1953D. Not only does it have a much lower mintage, but it is a more poorly produced issue overall with the vast majority of mint state coins lacking full steps definition. This FS gem ended up selling for $21,600. Number 4. 1932 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS the 1932 D. Washington Quarter is one of the two big key dates of the series. Its mintage of 436,800 coins is the second lowest of the series. Collecting quarters was not a popular pastime in 1932, despite the popularity of coin collecting in general. Cents, nickels, and dimes were viewed as inexpensive issues that were avidly collected from circulation by the general public. Numismatic demand for the coins finally developed after World War II, and most survivors were culled from circulation by 1960. Today, the 1932D is scarce, but not really rare, in lower mint state grades, but the issue is the prime condition rarity of the series in gem, or better, condition. It is even rarer than the lower mintage 1932S at that grade level. The present coin was the first example certified in MS66 by either grading service when it appeared in our Atlanta Anna signature. The surfaces are wonderfully clean and free from the abrasions that usually plague this issue. The reverse is mostly brilliant, with hints of olive copper at the lower rim. The obverse, on the other hand, is a different story altogether. It was sold for $74,400. Number 5. 1942 Mercury Dime with Overdate. Graded in Mint State 66 Full Bands by PCGS. Surviving examples, especially those in high grades, confirm the explanations of Cynic and Ross that the overdate is essentially a doubled obverse die that shows both dates. The entire date shows slight doubling that becomes more pronounced from left to right. This impressive, sharply struck premium gem exhibits brilliant and frosty silver luster on its untoned surfaces. The obverse and reverse fields show myriad parallel die polishing lines. It was sold for $76,375. Number 2. 1951 Franklin Half Dollar. Graded as PR67 plus Deep Cameo by PCGS. This could very well be the pinnacle of collecting for an advanced Franklin Half Dollar proof specialist. Like the 1950, this date is usually found with low contrast. Cameo representatives are very scarce, and profoundly contrasted Deep Cameo proofs are extremely rare. It ended up selling for $82,250. Number 1. And this is 1927 Lincoln sent in MS-68 red condition. According to NGC, 
This is another issue that is readily available in fully red gem condition, though the population drops rapidly above the grade of MS66 RD. While some coins will have less than full strikes, this is not a major issue with the 1927 P cent, and collectors should settle for nothing less than a sharp impression. This elusive specimen was sold for $84,000. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you found this information helpful. If you did, then please consider hitting like and subscribe buttons below. Stay well and God's will, see you in the next episode.